Olivia D, and we're here at the Chapman Cultural Theater here in Spartanburg, South Carolina for the award-winning play, A Month of Sundays, Remembering Women in Jazz. We're gonna take a one-on-one -on -one look at the actors and the characters they play. Come inside. Today we are here with Miss Dawn Hilton Williams, the writer for the play, A Month of Sunday, Remembering Women in Jazz. I wanna know why jazz? Why did you pick that genre? I grew up listening to jazz um, since I was eight years old and I'm much older than I look. Mm. Uh, uh, I was listening to Cannonball Adderley when other kids might have been listening to, not that I didn't listen to Sugar Hill, because I did, <laughs> but I also was listening to Cannonball Adderley. Right. And um, a lot of other heavy jazz people then, Miles Davis. I think when I got my first job at McDonald's when I was 16, I took some money and got, uh, took some money and got a, a Miles Davis album and a John Coltrane album, along with my other, you know, records mm -hmm. that I got. I loved Marvin Gaye, I loved Stevie Wonder. Um, Minnie Ripperton. I just like voices and I loved instruments that sounded like voices. So tell me about your career. How did you get started? How did it lead to this? Oh my dear, that's a long story. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, th theater is a way of life for me. I've been doing it since I was in the fourth grade. So, right. And it's taken me all over the world. I've, I've directed plays in London, in Scotland, uh, Jamaica, lots of places. But um, I'm taken to this place particularly because uh, I've known the playwright since she was a child. She's a young niece of mine, mm -hmm. and she wrote a lovely play that she was passionate about. Uh, and in its inception, she spoke to me about it. So uh, she seemed so determined to get it on the stage. So I said, if you're going to do it, I'm one of the best that does it. Oh, and how is it working with this cast on this particular play? It's a wonderful production. It's a wonderful cast. And everyone's worked so hard. And I. I asked a lot, and they gave a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, when to see it come to fruition is, is my joy. It's like um, uh, it's like being in labor. So you do all the strenuous work, and the tension is there, and then there's that wonderful release, and the project has been born. I like to see it take legs of its own, and then start to walk and go on its way. This is the director of the play, a month of Sunday, remembering women in jazz, Mr. DeFoy Glenn. Yes, thank you, my dear. It's been a pleasure being with you. It was a pleasure. Okay, now we're here with Miss Sandra McMullen. And how are you doing today? I'm doing great. You great. are so lovely. Thank you. Now so tell us you. about your part mm -hmm. in the play. Well, I am uh, Sandra Valentine, and Sandra Valentine is the, the queen mother of jazz. She is who the play is about. And um, I am <laughs> um, 82 years old in the play. I am, uh, I have some, a secret life that my granddaughter knows nothing about. And in this play, it is revealed to her uh, how I was associated with this wonderful place called the Jazz Cellar, the Cellar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, a month of Sunday. Oh, and when that line left my lips, I could feel my heart trying to beat right out my chest. One of the great things about a play is that you get to meet some fun and interesting characters. <laughs> and we have Amber Jones and Max Highsmith. Yes. Okay. Now, you guys seem to be some high-powered people in this yes. class. Yes. Yes. So tell me, how is it working with each other? It's been great. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Really? Right. I like Max. He's great. <laughs> He's great. I'm sorry, Mr. Coleman, are you talking to me? Of course, Miss Valentine, I'm talking to you. You and your legendary grandmother are twins. My legendary grandmother? Sure. Uh, is there some love in the air? Yeah. Yes, there is. <laughs> there is. Now we're here with comedian Mr. Nick Lewis. Nick, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here today. Right. So Nick, tell me about the character that you play in this play. J.W. Valentine. J.W. Valentine is is uh, he's a uh, is a time place. So it's taken like I think like the fifties. He's uh, a jazz club owner, one of those first jazz club owners when um, it went from like the speakeasy into like the musical scene. And he's like dominating. He say what he say. He mean what he say. He don't bite his tongue. Right. How close is this character to you in real life? Oh, I'm J.W. Valentine. <laughs> Y'all know that J.W. Valentine, and I want to thank y'all for coming here today. <laughs> and as far as J.W., mm -hmm. J.W., right. uh, what is his base role in this play? 
Uh, what do JW really do? Uh, no, he <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he he ties and kind of brings the story together. He's the uh, the the web that brings the story together. Now we're here with some lovely ladies of the play, A Month of Sundays, Remembering Women in Jazz. And I have to say, ladies, you are wonderful, you're beautiful. Just go down the line and just kind of introduce yourself to everyone. My name is Renee Ibala-Rosa. I play a young Miss Sandra, mm -hmm. and I'm also um, portraying Billie Holiday. Um, and then at the, in the final scene, Modern Day. Okay. My name is Jamie Wright, and I'm portraying a more modern jazz singer. I guess you could say Regina Scott of you. Um, just um, representing the more modern styles of jazz in the play. My name's Diane Verte. I play the young Ella Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. And my name is Tony Tapant, and I'm playing a singer in Paris um, that Miss Sandra came to hear many years before. Right. My name is Martita Lavelle Goss. And I'm playing Brenda, the nurse in the play, as well as portraying Nancy Wilson, singing The Very Thought of It. Okay. Can someone just give us a quick little tune? You know, something just to groove to really quick. Well, just a little bit of April in Paris, chestnuts in blossom. Mm. The very thought of you. And I forget to do. I'm feeling kind of lonesome, haven't slept a wink. I walk the floor like funny Valentine, sweet comic Valentine. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs>